Yes, I can understand you. I'm Leonard Nimoy. Right, hello and welcome to the Mobile Geek Club. I don't have a cup of tea in a moment. In here, uh, just a 7 up will do. But uh, anyway, we are shooting down the country, down England. Uh, just uh, bolted out the town of Manchester. And we are heading south into the sun. It's a bloody rare thing here in England to go to Manchester. Manchester, otherwise known as Manchester. Manfoy, of course they like to say Manfoy down there, like that, that's sort of, sorry to any people from Manchester for my terrible accent there, but we are going to go and fetch a laser disc player, yes, anybody know what a laser disc player is, if not, let Leonard Nimoy show you. Yes, I can understand you. I'm Leonard Nimoy. Interesting. A record player that produces beautiful sound and pictures through my TV. What is it called? Ah, Magnavision. Gourmet video for people who know and love video. I see. The system consists of this Magnavision optical video disc player, a laser vision video disc, and my TV. Anyhow, yes, laser disc. It's a bit of a strange thing for me because I never, ever uh, saw any advertised on the TV, ever. Uh, I remember the only exposure I had to them originally was. Between 1992 and 1994, when I was at college, and some high-end video shop uh, audio place uh, selling them about four or five hundred pound, <coughs> which even 1992-94 was bloody expensive. And I remember they had uh, ladies of lost ark in the window uh, box, and that was about seventy quid, and it was about thirty pound just for a normal disc. So. This thing was ridiculously expensive. Ooh, Mustang. Don't see many of them in this country. So, um, yes, this thing was completely outside my parents' budget. And as I was on pocket money and basic wages at the time, completely outside of my budget. So I never got to use one. I never even got to see one running. Uh, I know people behind me. You're on YouTube. You do not know it. <laughs> So, yes, uh, I spent a lot of time dreaming of these things with their big shiny 12 inch discs and classic films. Now, there's a bit of a controversy over this one because uh, originally I was going to go down to Wakefield to pick one up, which I was going to pay £95 for and would come with 40 discs. And that was going to be today. But last night, a bloody guy contacted me to say <coughs> he could not find the remote and some of the discs so was uh, not going to sell it but from texts he sent me before I truly believe he was trying to get more money out uh, for it because he kept saying how much it cost new and how much this cost new and all this and yeah I think he's trying to sell realise he's uh, not going to get anything <coughs> I think the guys realised he can get more money for it than he uh, put it up for, so, uh, yeah, I truly believe he's trying to get more money, so, there we go. So, I found this one, which is, uh, oh god, that Tesco van is really smoking, you might be able to see that on camera. Uh, got this one, which cost a bit more, and no discs, <coughs> but, there's no remote control, but well, that was the problem for me, because I'm just going to put it film in, press play, and off we get sorted. Uh, but, yeah, it's going to cost a little bit more. 
but it's very high end and one of the last players. So, we shall travel down England and uh, we're going to go on the M62, I think it's called, which is one of the prettiest routes and motorways in England goes right across the Pennine. So, we'll see what we can film. Hopefully, they mostly be uh, bloody roadworks because this that's what this country's like roadworks. Well, you can't see any boat. Anyway, not waffling. Let's continue the road trip. And welcome to my new city, the city of Durham. We're on the outskirts of the moment, this is the hospital. This is where I work, this area. In fact, I work over the end, this entire area, because it's my stomping ground. Uh, but we should be driving through the city. <coughs> sort of on the edge of the city, so you'll see some of it before we get on the dual carriageway. Not a huge amount to see from here. Made by the cathedral to go down. But, uh, yep, welcome to Dorm! Yay! Look at that! 
Bobby's been using the metal on this thing. Right. Okay. Let me introduce you to British speed cameras. These are what we call Fulgers. Because apart from the fact they nick money and points off your license, what they are, the average speed cameras, the yellow things. I don't know why I'm pointing, you can't see me. Uh, but they will record your average speed. And if your average speed is, in this case, above 50, they will send you a nice little love letter through the post that takes money off you. Doesn't give you money, it takes money off you and three points off your license if you're going just over the speed limit. If you're going heavily over the speed limit, they might just take your license too. So, yeah, great British tradition from the last oh, five years. So, they've been using these things, maybe 10. Uh, but here we go into our roadworks, 43 miles in. Let's see when these buggers end. We can now go up to 70. That was uh, just about uh, 12 miles, 13 miles, <laughs> 13 miles and 50 miles an hour. How exciting! Right, time to crack on. Uh, passing Leeming, I'll have Leeming soon. Might not see anything, but uh, we're passing it to Catterick. So uh, let us crack on with our journey. Here we go. South. Buff 18, Weatherby 29, Leeds 45 miles. Hello, let's go. This road's getting more interesting now as we're starting to head into Yorkshire. Wow, this road's in water, isn't it? in water. Wow. Anyway, look at this. Oh, hang on, let me see. That's the Citroën, right? Apparently, in America, for my American audiences, uh, you don't see Citroëns over there, they don't really sell them, they, so you don't see many. Uh, here they're quite common carrots. But before, uh, before we go back into auto mode here, looks like we've got a classic car ahead. Shall we go see this classic car? Yes, let us do that. Come on, catch up. That may be a beetle. I don't think it's a beetle. Might be a little exciting. Uh, uh, I won't tell you what speed I'm doing, <coughs> but let me just say that he's not going slow. Yeah, it's just a beetle. Exciting. There you go. Have a look at the beetle. Quite a nice little beetle though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Let's just continue with our motion. things. Well, often you see these. These are the big mining huge trucks and uh, it's a convoy of a few of them going down the road here so there you go. Something of interest for you. Accelerating away. So it's slowed right down for that for you. Aren't I now? Let's continue my journey as we hit North Yorkshire. And the road improves dramatically. And it's a bit wet. Anywho, 
let's continue. Time for a break. Got the countdown boards uh, 3, 2, 1. Don't know how this works for American friends, but like perhaps our Canadian friends, but that's how it works here. Yeah, these little countdown boards before the slip road. And now it's the job of finding your way around the surfaces. There's quite a big storm down there overhead, so that could be fun. Looks like it's already been in the circus, a very big wet. End of motorway regulations. Subway, Burger King, Waitrose, KFC. Oh yeah, it's all the usual crap. Uh, look, we need a cuppa. And uh, that's what we must have. Alright then. So, yeah, time to take a break. Have a cup. Oh, little car. And little cars. Oh, I'm in one. Yeah. And little cars when I sold mine eventually. Yes, that sounds like a plan. Right, there we go. Okay, I'll be back with my cup of tea in a minute. Right, slight issue. Oh, my wrist is weak, so I'm just reversing. Uh, <coughs> a pain in the ass. Now, uh, I was going to get a nice cup of tea in there. But, because of all these kitty winkles on this uh, bus trip, uh, whoa, there goes my uh, phone, which has got my navigation on it. Awesome. Give my French. Just pull up here and sort my phone out. There we go. Uh, uh. Oh, I'm blocking the road. I'll tell you what. Uh, just pop around here and sort my life out. Yeah, because of all the kiddie winkles yeah, on the coach trip. Uh, I'm just put my phone there. Right. <coughs> yeah, the queues were massive. So, yeah, couldn't get a cuppa, so I'm going to make do with squashy pop. Yeah. There's uh, nothing, but I have not had, I've had one cup of tea before I set out this morning, which is not good. So, uh, we're going to have to get out of here and continue with our mission to get laser disc. Oh, traffic. Do they not know I'm on a mission for laser disc? We sent a go. There we go. Let's play with my nav there on my phone. Right. Yes. Do these people not, not know that I'm on a mission for laser disc? They should not be in my way. Obviously not. No. Let's just drop that camera slightly. There we go. Good mission to get laser disc. I'm not sure this camera's in the right mode actually. I think it's on narrow vision. I have to pull over the service station and check yeah. Be right back. Ah. It turns out that I've been driving all this way with my camera on narrow vision. So we've now switched, as you may have noticed, to wide vision. And we can continue with our mission. Right. After watching it in narrow vision, this may make you feel a bit queasy, but there we go. Such is life. It's whoa! My phone keeps flying off the bloody thing. Oh well. Anyway, let's continue, shall we?
right, this bridge ahead, uh, we're approaching one of the highest in England, as in altitude, not its own altitude, but altitude above the sea, uh, built in horrendous conditions, especially uh, the winter. The winters, they had to work up here during the winter, and it is nasty up here in the winter. Uh, so, yeah, big respect for the people who built this thing, which you'll sort of see as we come on by the moment. Uh, for the rain, typical Manchester area weather. Uh, I'm just crossing the uh, big reservoir. But there's the bridge. The size of that thing. I think it was built in the 1960s. But it's here. Uh, quite an achievement. I should be quite up here in London. But now we've got to Manchester, so you probably see quite a confusion around here, but. Uh, <laughs> I just got the ideas. <laughs> we can see shite. I've got a little house I want to show you down here. We've now picked up the laser disc, laser, uh, it's in the back house, so I'll take some pictures of it and uh, a bit of video just to tease you when I get to a service station, but look at the scenery here, if you can see that ahead on the camera, Christ, that outcrop there, Ooh, Manchester you've got some beautiful scenery around you, that's what was new, uh, but yes, I think I shall film the route out. So the laser disc itself sitting behind me, uh, showed it me running. <coughs> so uh, yes, we shall uh, take her home and oh, film some sections on the way home. Hopefully, get better weather when we get to the top, so we can film that again.
just a quick nosy. We are in a uh, little rest stop, and uh, here's our thing that we've come all this distance for a Pioneer CLD 1750 laser disc player. Mm. Yes, mm. time to continue our journey. We'll just get stop here in this beautiful scenery. Right, off we continue. back home and uh, as you come up under these bridges you might be able to see this storm ahead. Oh yeah, that's going to piss on me if you uh, end up driving underneath it. Should be fun. If it is fun, I'll be back. And uh, yeah, we'll let it piss on us. Right, anyway, laser disc. Be right back. I just thought I'd show you a better uh, view of the storm that we're coming towards. I was on a hill and it did have a clear view, but now it's gone. Uh, oh, nice sound from the road there. I did between Manchester and Barnsley uh, 
have a semi enjoyable. Oh well, we'll be back. Typical British weather. Here we are coming back through the roadworks heading north and uh despite it being a relatively sunny day. It's quite a blue, blue sky uh, to the left of mine. Uh yeah, a few moments ago it was actually hailing on the car. Um yeah. Well, that's sort of something that you'd expect in actually in summer around here. Uh, but in March, weird, weird country, weird weather. All right, so let's crack on heading north at 50 miles an hour. This is the bloody roadworks again. Oh, look, vultures. Yes. Well, as you can see on the signs there, you're back going through Durham and. Uh, not often I get to say this, but I'll come back to the north where it's not raining and it's sunny, apparently. Not often I get to say that. So, there we go. Where's my turning? There's my turning. Too busy talking. There we go. Sunderland, yeah. Durham, and Constant. Yeah. Right. Here we are, back home. I wonder if the cat's on playing the wallpaper. Oh. Anyway, here we are in the Snogima, and we've got it hooked up to the Snogima's uh, amplifier, which is a 1999 Arkham Alpha 7R, which I've had since new, and some mission speakers. Uh, also, we haven't got any laser discs at the moment, they should be arriving in the next few days. So, in the meantime, we're going to feed it CDs. Now, we did have some trouble because I tried to get it to play a CD album, wasn't having it, just kept spitting it out. Uh, it kept repeating this and I thought, oh bugger, it's buggered. Uh, so I went on the forums and it turns out that over time, uh, these don't, some of these didn't get used for CDs, so the parts of the, uh, ooh, what do you call them, the, the rail that's used for CD, the, uh, oh, the grease! dries out. So they said what well, a lot of them will still play CD singles. Uh, so let's have a look. Got a bit of Kate Ryan Desanche here. I'm going to play the second song. Might be less chance of a copyright strike if I do that. So we put it in. Uh, I did see this playing a laser, laser disc on the site so we do know it works but then I got it here and that wouldn't play CDs and I thought oh it's buggered. I've damaged it in transit. Uh, but uh, boom, boom, boom. I'll get to number two. Probably less chance of a copyright strike on number two. As you can hear, in a moment when it starts up. There we go. It is playing just bloody fine. I might, the, the yellow light, orange light, is a direct CD that cuts out the TV signal, so it's just used as a uh, straight to your amplifier instead. And as you can hear, it's all working bloody fine. So, uh, laser discs arrive in the next few days, and I shall be showing you them when I do the full review. And the sound from this is friggin' awesome! Because they were high end players anyway. And apparently, the laser disc, uh, laser disc albums themselves are sought after because they, they had a higher sound quality than CD. So, there we go. That's the Pioneer CRD 1750. Uh, and that's your treat for making it this far or flipping to this part of the video at the end. Get a quick demo of it. 
but we're saving the actual video for the main review. So thank you very much. You need to quit being dirty. You're a dirty boy. <laughs>